Hey, so, uh, how was the expo flowing to you? And are you guys seeing a lot of visitors today? Yeah, we're pretty busy you know, yesterday and today. We got lots of demands on uh, our search agency for uh, uh, service to American advertisers and agencies. Also, we have people ask us Facebook about the agents. So tell us about your company. How did you guys become the number one SEM SEO agency? In China, we're number one SEM uh, company in China. Uh, we started really at the right time. You know, we uh, went to the industry, you know, like two or four years ago, just to, uh, in China, just to see. Uh, uh, we invest a lot on technology, so we were the only one who has a bit of automation software and tracking software, uh, working with the advertisers, large SEM advertisers. And we're also working very closely with platform companies like uh, we serve lots of uh, large premium advertisers, advertisers in China, including large e-commerce sites, including insurance, education, travel, uh, and, and we get a uh, very good reputation there. So, uh, we know that you're an exclusive partner of Baidu in North America. What, is, what does that mean for your customers? And they do, do they achieve a better satisfaction of their commercial rounds because of that? Uh, we actually, uh, uh, lots of U.S. advertisers are interested in Chinese audience, right, in Americans, but they don't know how to really uh, open up content back to and uh, they, don't know, they don't even have a Chinese landing page, they don't know how to uh, optimize the campaign, what are keywords you buy. So we team up with Baidu, we, 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 we prefer agency service for these U.S. advertisers. If they go through us, we offer them a uh, uh, total service, uh, including uh, account uh, set up, Keywords research, uh, marketing strategy, and, uh, and a paid search uh, optimization. We also provide other services that I do. We do uh, mobile display to US advertisers who are interested in Chinese audience as well. China is a very interesting market for advertising. What are the distinctive features of Chinese markets for local and international producers of goods and services? And is it, is it easy to sell something in China and to win the ads they like? So actually, e-commerce became very popular in China, you know, thanks to Taobao and many other uh, large e-commerce sites. Uh, people are really educated uh, to pay online, to buy stuff online. And uh, uh, logistics is also works very, very well. You know, uh, delivery is even faster than uh, the delivery of the package order is even faster than in the U.S. So people have this uh, good, uh, reasonably good satisfaction of uh, buying online. Uh, which also opens doors for U.S. e-commerce sites, you know, just you know, uh, attract Chinese uh, internet users uh, offer their products. Okay. Um, the Chinese mobile market is rapidly growing every day. We know that you invented and now use Mobile Sage, which is the most influential ad network in China. How does it work, and what are the key benefits and advantages? So, mobile advertising is really moving in China. You know, it start from the beginning to the short message, sometimes it's spam people, and then WAP. And now the new waves with all the 3G, uh, iPhone, Android uh, devices, people really consume from the internet uh, using mobile phones. So, uh, it's very popular uh, apps for these devices, just like the US. So, we see this opportunity, we see what happened in the US a couple of years ago, uh, like AdMob, and many uh, in app uh, advertising platform networks uh, in, uh, So we invested two years ago with some mobile stage uh, R&D work and this business is going really, really fast. This is one of the focus for uh, research and development work in China. So uh, we work with lots and lots of partners who uh, app developers and, uh, and, and we work with also uh, uh, some ad applicators, you know, mobile ad applicators to improve our SDK in their platform. Why we we have a good sales team for working with uh, advertisers just like SEM. So lots of our SEM customers and also other customers we start to advertise on mobile networks. Okay. Do you work with 
any worldwide known trademarks? And is it no, no, easier or more difficult to work with famous international companies? Actually, we, believe it or not, we work a lot with international companies. Uh, we work with uh, uh, some large brand like you know, L'Oreal, a French uh, cosmetic company, uh, like uh, Microsoft, which is you for them in China. Uh, we work with uh, some uh, most uh, very popular car manufacturers in China, like uh, Volkswagen, like Honda, recently with Sandia, with even Peugeot. So we build their, uh, I mean, their different uh, marketing channels with different customers. Some will offer search, some will offer uh, display, some will offer mobile services, and also web or social media services. In your professional opinion, what future is waiting for so trended markets in Asia and all over the world in the next three years? And what inventions should be expected to be? I think search as a format today with the links, uh, on the traditional web browser, this cannot change a lot. Uh, mainly because people are using more and more mobile devices. Right? And in a mobile device, uh, people just search. Uh, the real estate is really small and it's really hard for people to use and today's more by search uh, UI. So all these are going to evolve to uh, more uh, interactive, more engaging and uh, easier to use uh, search results. Uh, and together with targeting, with intent, with suggestions. Uh, so I think there are lots lots of cool things going to happen on the more by search world. Yeah. So tell us what are the main issues for markets for your company. No, you have my You work on Asian markets other than, the, other than the Chinese market. Are you going to increase your presence in European markets at all? So uh, most of data uh, uh, are in China. So we we uh, call China the big country right? with so many uh, with okay, yeah, one country uh, being uh, consumers. So they are uh, really so if you look at China like many different markets uh, like uh, so we have. In, uh, in different cities in China, uh, major uh, business uh, areas. Also, we have presence in West Coast US, where uh, our office in US is based in Seattle, and we are expanding. We have US advertisers targeting Chinese audience, we also have Chinese audience uh, advertisers uh, to work with the US uh, uh, digital media such as Facebook uh, or Google or uh, the uh, display networks. Uh, we are also yeah, team up with some other Asia uh, uh, agencies. Uh, actually, we are about to announce we are going to team up with uh, Japan agencies to offer uh, Japan uh, uh, search engine marketing services to our Chinese enterprises. Uh, we also work with uh, Singapore and, and, and uh, Malaysia agencies. You know, some of our partners they use our software, and some of very good uh, agencies. What is the key mission for your work in China? Key mission for my work? So we position ourselves as the digital marketing firm. So we bring best ROI, maximize ROI for uh, advertisers and also we maximize yield for publishers and app developers. So that's our mission. Uh, we invest heavily on R&D. We have today at City has over 500 people. Half of them are software developers on different uh, products, uh, 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 suite of products. I think we are uniquely positioned to provide performance advertising uh, to our advertisers. Thank you. Um, all right, well, thanks. And last question is, what do you expect from this conference? We we'll expect, you know, first of all, to get more known in the U.S., uh, in the New York area. Also, we expect lots of leads. Uh, I think we've got lots of uh, uh, demands from uh, agencies and from advertisers uh, for our uh, Facebook product and for our China agency services. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have a business card I can have?